Yo, what's up guys? What is going on? Zach or Remote Resistance here and welcome back to another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by once again as always. Today guys, we're actually going to be talking about another potential leak for Infinite Warfare. However, this one has to do with multiplayer and this is super, super early on into the year to actually be talking about multiplayer for the next Call of Duty. Normally it's not until like mid-August, even sometimes early September where we get our initial multiplayer info. So take this with a grain of salt. It could very easily be fake. At the same time, it could very easily be real. We're just going to have to run through this and see what sort of discussion this brings up in the comments. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say about this. Basically, what we're going to be talking about today, guys, is the potential to see strike packages return as kill streaks or score streaks in Infinite Warfare. If you guys remember back in Modern Warfare 3 and I believe Ghosts as well, we had the strike package tiers where you could use assault kill streaks or score streaks, you could use support kill streaks or score streaks, then you could use the specialist kill streaks or score streaks, however you'd like to refer to them as and apparently this is going to be something that is going to be returning in infinite warfare we're going to have the assault support and specialist tiers which is something that i really enjoyed personally i love the specialist system that's definitely my go-to but with the different uh strike package tiers it sort of allows all players to have something that they want Maybe you're not that good of a player, you can rock the support streaks and end up getting kill streaks even if you're not that good of a player. Obviously, if you want to go for those high score gameplays or high kill gameplays, you could use the assault streaks. And if you just want to max out on perks, you can go ahead and use specialists. But there's actually a list of potential score streaks or potential kill streaks that are in this uh, in this leak, which I will link down in the description below, that I sort of just wanted to run through and talk about a little bit. So in the assault category, we have things like the spy satellite or the spy set that's like UAV, the orbital drop, I'd assume with some sort of care pack or something like that we have a GED which is a gravitational explosive device I would maybe assume that's almost like uh, wraps but maybe only one or two at a time we have the rocket strike and assault rover I would sort of take that like a GI unit in a sense and then we have the ETS this is what really catches my eye it's uh, it stands for the enemy tracking systems which I would assume is something like an orbital VSAT or a blackbird something similar to that so that would definitely be an interesting streak to throw on there I'm glad that's in the assault category and nothing else because obviously being able to see the exact movements of enemies on your minimap is a pretty strong advantage to have over your opponents so those are the assault ones that were leaked so far quote unquote leaked like I said earlier take this with a grain of salt moving on to the support we have things like the spy sat now we have the satellite hack I assume that's sort of a counter UAV the ballistic vest we'll see returning this is odd enemy tracking systems actually does appear once again which I think is a little controversial that in order to have enemy tracking systems as something that pretty much any player can get it says here it's for uh, 1350 score if you end up getting that you'll you'll unlock the ETS for uh, for a certain amount of time I feel like that would be a little bit controversial because I feel like the Blackbird and the Orbital VSAT are, are good streaks. You know, those are things that not everyone can get. Those are sort of the, the streaks of the people who really want to show off their skills in Call of Duty. Not necessarily a support tier streak. And then to wrap this up, we have something called the Cyber Attack. I would assume that's pretty similar to like a uh, an EMP or something like that. And then obviously in Specialist, per score that you get, you get a new perk option. And then after you reach a certain amount of score, it says here the max is 1000, you unlock all the perks. So this would be pretty interesting. I definitely want to know what you guys think of this down in the comments below. Do you guys think this is a legitimate leak or not? And uh, what, what do you guys feel like fits in these categories? The support, the assault, and the specialist tiers. Not obviously really specialist because that's just perks, but more so the assault and the support tiers. Should the ETS be something that's in the support tier? Should things like the EMP be in the support tier? Things that pretty much any player can get as long as they're playing the objective or something like that. I'll be looking forward to seeing what you guys have to say about that. Drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed Enjoy. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay happy, stay positive, and of course, don't forget to smile because you are never going to regret it. Peace out.